Yes, I'm shining like a diamond, shining like a diamond. Stacey A cross coming through when she's shining. Shining like a diamond on YouTube. And I'm telling you too, could be whoever you want to become. You got to start now when you can't be dumb. You can't get the crumb. You got to get it. All of it, the gold, the gems, the emeralds. And then add some more decimals. Increase your bottom line. Fill your pop line. I'm coming through shining like a diamond. It's Valentine's Day and I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. I had to give you that flow. Got to give you that energy though. You know who I am. If you don't know that I'm giving away these shirts and the link is in the description. The link's in the description. I'm giving away these shirts. The reason why it's so bright back there because it's a beautiful day, man. The sun's shining and I feel great. My cells feel great. How does your cells feel? You feel great? Feel open? It's crazy though because a lot of people are dying with this flu virus. It's crazy. It's like a little mini epidemic. You know, I don't get the flu shot. I don't know who does, but stay safe out there. You might even have to get that ga that mask. You know, coming off the plane, they come off these international planes and they got that mask on. They're like, man, I ain't messing with your air space, okay? So just uh, remain safe out there because I, I heard about it. I actually know someone that had kidney failure due to having that mucus. Mucus is the cause, okay? Mucus, fluid. Things that harbor and let that bacteria and virus have a place to live, you know, flourish. So stay safe out there. Drink lots of water, fluids. Fill yourself up with that. You don't need orange juice, okay? It was a joke, all right? They, they joked you. They put a spell on you. You don't need orange juice. Straight up natural spring water will do the job done. If you want to make it more alkaline, throw a piece of lemon in there. I'm here to talk about Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. I don't know if you're going home to the, the, the bed full of rose petals. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you come home to that nice steak dinner. Or maybe you're taking it out for the night. Going up to a five-star restaurant on the top of the world. Looking out the window like, yeah, we did it. Glass click. Um, whatever the case. I'm telling you, though, that you have to fall in love with yourself. I did a Facebook Live over on Facebook. Links in the show notes. If you don't have me on Facebook, what the hell? Okay? But... I did a Facebook Live over there and said give three, eight, three ways, three ways that you could fall massively in love with yourself. Damn, was I looking in the wrong place? Fall massively in love with yourself right now. The first thing that you have to do is get honest with yourself. When I was addicted to gambling, okay, for nine years straight, depressed, I'm telling you, I say it all the time because I can't even believe my own ass was addicted to gambling. I was ashamed of it. No one didn't know I was hush, hush, hush about it. Until someone found out, I was like, damn, I've been found, I've been had. Um, I had to get real. I was forced to get real. And if I was real with myself at that time, then I could have changed the things I didn't like. Things I didn't re like receiving. The uh, outcomes that I was getting. You know, the car broken down. All this stuff, you know, the cycles and, and you know, the universe, your reality is what you are putting in, right? So you see exactly what you are getting, uh, or what you're putting in, you're getting it, okay? It's that whole common denominator thing. So the first thing to fall massively in love with yourself is to be honest with yourself. So if you're not, if you're not liking the relationship you're in, or maybe you complain way more about the job than you actually say that you like it, what's wrong? You're not honest with yourself. You go home complaining to someone that can't change it, right? You go to work complaining about something else, maybe your spouse or something, you bring all your business to work. Then you go home to your spouse or whatever, girlfriend or partner, and then you complain about the job. Okay, you gotta get honest. You, maybe it's time for a career change. Maybe it's time to do something else. Maybe you didn't know it yet, but until you're assessing and confronting these issues, confront your bank account. Maybe you don't like the state of the bank account. For a while, my bank account been on more roller coaster rides than Six Flags, Dorney Park, all of that. that. That whole thing was up and down, overdrafts. That thing looked crazy, okay? I had to confront it. I don't like the state of this. What am I gonna do? Do I need new skills to build that? Because I can't live like this. My, 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 my last podcast was about passion and purpose, okay? Because I wanted you to understand that yeah, passions come, passions change. I was passionate one time with doing music. You heard the little spit that I did. I'm not, I'm not, I'm rusty, okay? I'm rusty. Don't bring that to me, okay? I wasn't spitting bars. All I did was just come off the top a little bit. But I was passionate about that. 
Then I was passionate about back in the day, man. Shh, man, I had this little hip hop newsletter. It's called uh, what? What was it called? Four Elements Hip Hop Newsletter. I had a little company called uh, Cross Labels Entertainment. I had the Bedroom Productions. We did some DJing with Dead Beats Radio. Was on HipHopGame.com. My entire passionate about hip hop. Passionate about these things. Passionate about uh, starting businesses. Had a clothing brand. Uh, prefer classic. Passionate about that. Passionate about everything that I was doing at the time. Uh, but my passions changed. But I knew that I needed a purpose. The purpose is the bigger picture here. The purpose is the thing that's going to direct everything. So once you're honest, then you can pull out that purpose. People always say, well, I don't know what my purpose is. Shit, what don't you like? Okay, let's make it, let's make it simple. Where don't you want to be? What don't you like? What are you trying to get? You know, you want to be rich, you want to be successful, you want to be famous, whatever. It's cool, man. That's your thing. Do it, but that's your purpose. You don't have to have this whole mega glam. It doesn't have to be this whole nonprofit base where it's like sounds good for the radio, sounds good for Instagram, looks good on Facebook. No, bro, I don't want to be broke. That's my purpose. Okay, let's do things that don't get us broke. Let's do things that pushes us up. Let's increase these uh, finances a bit. So, you have to get honest. That's the first thing you have to do to fall in love with yourself. The second thing is, what do you think that second thing is? You think it's rose petals? You think that you have to put your love in someone else? You think you have, hey, it's saying no, okay? Say, straight up simple. It's saying no way more than you say yes. How do you do that? Say no, shit, no, I can't do it, okay? I don't have the time. Why, don't, why do you think that you need to say no way more than you say yes? I'll tell you why. Quick and easy. If you keep saying yes, you're putting all your energy, effort, and you're expending all of this juice out into something that doesn't even benefit you, it's helping someone else. I know that, yes, okay, let's be real, we have to help people out, I, I help my grandmother, I help this. Um, in my 30 day program, the uh, Building Blocks to Success, which isn't out yet, but if you want more information on it, hit up hello at thecomfortkillers.com, maybe you could be a beta user or something. My 30 day program, I explained, what, I was saying yes so many times. My aunt needed help with her, her master's degree, uh, this nursing master's program, and it needed, she needed to come up with this. My brother wanted me to write a paper, don't shh, okay, shh. I don't, I'm not getting a diploma, right? I'm not going to get that certificate on my wall, but I'm saying yes. So I'm there every week, just pounding, I'm researching, I'm doing the thing. I got to go move tra trash out of someone's yard because I said yes. Little did I know that the trash pickup and the trash disposal costs money. Okay, you can't just go toss freaking home remodeling trash out into anybody's dumpster. You'll get a fine. I didn't know this stuff. I said yes. Just so, yes, open. Yes, yes, I'll do it. Then. By the time you get home and you want to plan and do your thing, you're tired, you're burnt out, you're lethargic, you have no energy, now you don't have no time, now you complain, you feel bad, okay? So you're feeling bad, you're saying yes too much, say no, say no, Why, what are you doing when you say no? You're pulling control back, you're making time for yourself to do what's more important with you with the honesty that you just said in number one, okay? So you have to say no way more than you say yes. When you say yes, make sure that it's really just to mm, help it, you have the time, you have the energy, and you just want to help but for right now because we're in a situation we don't like we got to say no we got to keep saying no and top performance I did a study pop, top performers in the industry no matter which one says no way more than they ain't not okay jab jab okay so the final thing that you must do to fall massively in love with yourself shout out to savage grind I didn't even make that claim uh, shout out to Joseph Daniels Savage, savage grind but the last thing that you got to do is you got to be around smarter people, okay? <laughs> you cannot be the smartest one in the room. That has not worked for you, right? It hasn't worked for me. I was the smartest one in the room. I always was, kind of. You know, like, damn, I kind of know this, all right? Uh, damn, I'm helping. You know, what's going on? So I know now that I have to be the dumbest one in the room because if I'm the smartest one in the room, then I'm sure as hell the dumbest one in the room. So be around people that you have more than you, that, that are doing things that you want to do. How do you find these people? Maybe you need to get into a network event. Maybe you need to hit up meetup. Maybe you need to go to, to a couple uh, seminars. Maybe you know you got to extract these people. Maybe you got to go to Toastmasters. Maybe you got to change up your friendship line. Maybe you got to scroll through your phone and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. So maybe you got to change that up because if you are the smartest one in the room, what are you really learning? You're not learning. You're not growing, okay? So those are three things for you to massively fall in love with yourself today on Valentine's Day. Spread the rose petals for yourself. 
you know, you make a nice dinner for yourself, self-care and all that beautiful stuff. But I love you today, and I want you to know that my book, my book, baby, is here. Are you ready to pre-order it? Are you ready to learn everything I did and those tools, techniques, methods to change your life using what you already have inside? That's what the book is about. Using everything inside, okay? We're, not, we're no longer looking at the externals. We're all pulling at the force within, okay? It's like Darth Vader, the force within. Feel the energy? I feel the energy. I would love if, you're, if you support me, support my mission, support the book, support the comfort killers. You are a comfort killer. And I'll check you later. Book everything. All you need to know is in the description. Peace. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in it.